Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin. I'm here to talk about Cycle 17 of America's Next Top Model. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, Kevin, you still watch that show? To be honest with you, I stopped watching America's Next Top Model after Jazlene one because America's Next Top Model got very, very repetitive to me. I'm tired of Tyra talking about smiling with the eyes and elongating your legs and pose this way and pose that way. I got sick and tired of it, but you know, the girls, you know, seem to love the show because it's been on for over eight years, and congratulations to Tyra for another cycle of America's Next Top Model, but this cycle in particular is um, all the best contestants from the previous cycles are now on one cycle, cycle 17, so people that I remember like Brie, um, uh, Brittany, uh, Shannon, the Christian, um, uh, Camille, who's one of my favorites. Um, let me tell you all the people that say, because I know a lot of y'all missed this damn episode because y'all probably thought it was the same America's Next Top Model. So we got Shannon, Camille, Brittany, Lisa from Cycle 5, Brie, Brianna, I mean Bianca, excuse me, Dominique, Isis, Sheena, Allison, Laura, Angelia, Kayla, and Alexandria. So those are the people from the previous cycles, and they're all on cycle 17. And this is starting out really, really good. I'm like, okay, I'm excited about Top Model again. You know how it goes. The winner wins a $100,000 contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. They will also win um, a spread in Italian Vogue magazine, I believe it was. And they also get to be on extra, and I probably left something out. But this is just what I remember from watching it from one episode. I haven't rewatched it again. But this episode was really, really good. You know, you had all of the girls joining in the house. Some girls like, oh my God, I remember you. Some girls wasn't familiar to the other girls. Um, Bianca and uh, I think Brie got mad because Bianca didn't tell her that they was on the show. Whatever. You know, ooh, excuse me. All of a sudden, you know, Miss J comes to tell the girls that they're going to be doing a catwalk, runway. Um, not a, no, no, no. Oh, I'm messing up. Oh, I'm messing up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were going to do uh, photo shoots based on their characters that they portrayed on their particular season. They all took their photos. You know, uh, J, Miss J, Miss, well, light skin Miss J. What was the? J Manuel, excuse me. He had an issue with. Shannon because Shannon had an issue with posing in panties versus posing in the bikini but they are the exact same thing but you know I think it's more mental for Shannon and I think they need to respect that so if they're going to put her ass in bikinis just let her, just let her pose in bikinis and she'll be more fine with that it's just some people are, it's just mental and I don't think that they should just keep beating it into her that you know okay well panties and bikinis are the same thing let it go or whatever so, you know, all the girls, you know, they, they photos were really nice. You know, I'm noticing, wow, you know, nobody has to tell them what to do and how to pose because they're pretty much professionals now. A lot of them have, act, not acting gigs, but modeling gigs and performed on different runways and print magazines or whatever. They're commercial. You know, everyone says, I'm commercial, I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. So a lot of them are successful. And Tower even acknowledged some of the successful ones, such as Brie and I believe Bianca. Um, I really, I think I've probably seen Bianca on, you know how they be doing the uh, reruns and stuff. I think she was, you know, like a really hood girl or whatever. But she kind of reminds me of Keisha Cole for some reason. I just think it's that street attitude. I don't know. She don't look not like Keisha, but it's the street attitude. So whatever. They all took great photos. Miss J. Manuel tells, or either, one of the J's tells the girls that they're going to do a catwalk. And it's going to be an... Um, they had a Nokia theater in L.A. or one of them damn theaters. And it was going to be a live audience. And that Nicki Minaj is going to be a guest judge. Now, you know, there was a whole lot of people out there. Now, I ain't hating on America's Next Top Model. But I think those people were there to see Nicki Minaj and not the contestants. I'm just, you know, I'm just being honest. So, um, they all come out. Some people they really love, some people got booed, some people got no reaction. But what I will say is that when Nicki Minaj was critiquing the pictures, she gave an honest opinion. It didn't come from a mean place, and the bitch knew what she was talking about. Believe it or not, 
Nicki Minaj knew what she was talking about. So, you know, I was really, really like, damn, you know, like, okay, you know, I'm really liking this girl. Now, somebody could tell Nicki about how she looked before she go out on these runways and stuff. She would be good. Now, um, after they tell the girls about their photos or whatever, um, you know, everybody judging the pictures. The judges, by the way, is Andre Leon Talley. Um, um, oh goodness, Nigel Barker and Tyra, and Nigel now has hair, and he looks good with hair. Um, you know, one of the girls booed, uh, I forgot one of, I forgot her damn name. I gotta get to know these damn girls. One of the girls got booed, and they was like, oh, well, Kevin, she was on the last season, and she came off as a bitch, or she portrayed a bitch, and she really wasn't a bitch, whatever. She got booed, and I'm like, okay, wow, they really don't like her. So after everybody got critiqued, you know, uh, they was asking the crowd who did they like, and a lot of people were liking Alexandra. I wasn't feeling her too much. I like Camille the best. Out of all the pictures, I like Camille. Maybe it's because I just like Camille. I don't know. But I really loved her picture. Um, so they got down to the judge room, and it was between Brittany and... What was that bitch name? Um... What is her name? I don't even know. But ever the girl name was, I think her name was Alexandra. Alexandra, that's her name. I think. I think it was. I think. Anyway, sorry, I, I should have been more prepared. So anyway, Tyra was like, well, Brittany, you know, no one remembered you. No one, you know, you weren't memorable at all. And Angela, she told Alexandra, whatever her damn name is, you know, when you got haters, you know, it's a good thing. If you don't have, if you have supporters, that's a good thing. But the thing is, you want to have more supporters than haters, but if you still have haters, you're still doing your job. So basically, Alexandria got to stay and um, Brittany got sent home because she wasn't memorable. And you know... I don't, I don't know. I don't think they really judged the photos too much on why they were going home. I think it was based on the crowd reaction. And I think it should have came down to more of the photo because I liked Britney's photo better than Alexandra's picture. But she still got sent home. But anyway, I will still continue to watch this season of America's Next Top Model. Just had a brain freeze. Oh my God. America's Next Top Model. Woo! America's Next Top Model All-Stars. Don't judge me because I just had a brain fart. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. But you know, there is one in particular that I really miss seeing on the show. And that's Jade. Because Jade is probably the most memorable contestant diva besides Camille that should be on this show. But, you know, some people tweeted me the reason why Jay wasn't going to be on. Because Jay said that the contract was bogus and one-sided. And that the people of America's Next Top Model do not care about the contestants. But let me tell you something. Anytime there's $100,000 on the line with CoverGirls Cosmetics. And, you know, if you can win and what you could do with that money and your face being all over CoverGirl. Because I haven't seen Jay... Only in a Chains Clothes video. That's the only time I've seen Jade. And, you know, a chance to be on Extra where people can get a chance to like you or people get a chance to put you in commercials and stuff, I would get my ass back on TV right away. Because, Jade, girl, where are you, girl? Where are you? Where, 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 where are you? You are a memorable person on this show and your ass should be on it. I don't give a damn how one side of the contract is. People will remember you. People can probably get you the whole shit. You know what? OMG, Jay, girl, your ass should have been on this show. I wish that I can have a heart to heart with you, but I do have a lot of sweat on my forehead. But girl, let me tell you something. Let me have a heart to heart with you. You are a goddamn fool. A goddamn fool. Girl, where are you at? You ain't on TV. You ain't doing nothing, girl. You, your ass should be on the show. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to zoom back out. But yeah, y'all, America's Next Top Model comes on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on CW. It feels good to talk about a regular show on regular TV. It really, really do. 
So, you know, I'll see y'all next week talking about, oh my God, it's going to be hard. I got a DVR on both shows. X Factor and America's Next Top Model. And then after that, I'll be watching Dance Moms. Oh, my Wednesday nights are going to be really, really good right now. And I will see y'all next week with another episode of America's Next Top Model. All stars. Talk to y'all later.